Good morning, modern steaders. Burr, it's chilly this morning, 30 degrees out. There are the pigs snorting and a running. You guys ready for breakfast? Keep hiding your dish on us. Oh, it's under the trailer. Look at the frosty grass. Ready? There you go. Good morning, boys. Ready for your grain? Look at that ice on the old water. Oh, look at that. It's too early for that, guys. It's not even November yet. Oh, I don't want to be thinking about lugging water and chipping ice off water. Too early. Oh. We'll get in the milking room. We know it's warmer in here. <laughs> Ooh, it feels good. Morning, little pig. Nope, Magnolia, you can't come in. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am glad we insulated the milking room. It's just Willow taking a turd. Willow! What are you doing? You're supposed to milk before you come in. Supposed to milk. You're supposed to poop before you come in the milking room. You're not supposed to poop on the milking stand, girl. The other day when I broke the Kubota, I called up the Kubota dealer to order some parts. Now I worked in a parts department before, so this kind of like blew my mind. Tell me what you think of this. I called up, I said, hey, I need some parts for my Kubota. They said, yeah, get on our website and you got to look them up yourself. We don't have most of the parts in stock anyway, so you need to look them up. What? I had to order and find the parts that I needed for the tractor. Isn't that the whole reason to have a parts department? Like, I don't know this software. It took me about a half hour. I found the parts, I ordered them. I was just kind of blown away by that. But on a positive note, it took one day and they were here. We ran out last night when we got back, UPS had came and I had the parts from the Kubota dealer. So today we get to fix the Kubota. But I was just blown away that they wouldn't look up the parts I needed. I knew exactly what I needed but I didn't know they how to look them up in their computer system, so what do you think about that? Is that like the new normal? I know, my hand's cold, I'm sorry. Is that the new normal? You gotta look up your own parts? Or were they being, I don't know. Leave in the comments down below, let me know. I know we've got some viewers that work at a John Deere dealer and a Kubota dealer, so be interesting to know if that's the new normal. You ready to get out? This way. Go ahead. Good morning, Blossom. Oh. Come on, let's go outside. Good morning. Let's go outside. Come on. Good morning, Figaro. Hope they're leaving you. Your friends are going that away. What do you think, there, Figaro? You like that? Huh? Do you like that area? You like Figaro? I'll see you over at New York City, Hope. Pluto, he's not your chew toy. Crazy part is, as soon as Pluto stops doing that to Tanner, he goes right back after her. He's a glutton for punishment and he likes it. <laughs> you guys still enjoying that auto door, huh? You get to come out whenever it gets daylight.
Morning, Moose. Oh, so frosty. This is the goat's favorite hangout spot. It must be like their cafe in the morning. It's usually where you can find them after we milk Willow. After I'm done milking, I think Willow likes going out and getting a couple of apples instead of drinking water. She can have some apple juice. I don't blame her. I think I'd get sick of drinking water all the time and I'd want an apple or two. We being followed. The first one's Magnolia. Wow. You're so fuzzy, Magnolia. I think you're the fuzziest one. Getting their winter coats. Big old fuzzball, Magnolia. You too there, Buttercup. You like the dust? Some chit chat around the watering hole. <sighs> Gotta get the tractor and bring it up. Do some work to it. And get it repaired back to work in order. All right, so we gotta get the mower deck off. Uh, right here, this pin locks in this ear. So once we pull this, the back should be free. All right. Now, we got the front right here. And in order to do that, pull this lock. That drops down, and then I can take this out right here, which holds the front on. There we go. All right. There. We sheared that head off. My guess is I hit a rock or a stump, caught the head, the big head, and it just sheared it off. So we gotta get that out first. This part right here is gonna determine how this video goes. If we can get this bolt out easy, we'll be mowing today. If not, <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> All right, so first we're gonna try drilling it out. We have Let's start off with this one. Oop. It loosened up and went the wrong way. So maybe we can get that deep enough. But if you saw that, it went the wrong way. It like went in. It, ooh, ah! No way guys, did you see that? I just put the drill bit in reverse and it spun it right out. What? <laughs> no way. Ah, so close to having it all the way out. A pair of pliers. Get that last turn. Uh, yeah, let's get some pliers. Yeah, must have a burr. Doesn't want to come out the very last. Oh, maybe we got it. Whew. <laughs> that was way too easy. Thank you, Kubota. <laughs> so, these blades, believe it or not, are original. What year is this tractor? It's got almost 400 hours on it. We've mowed it with it for three or four seasons, at least, if not more. And here's the original blades. I have new blades to put on it, but we need to mow that pasture for the first time still. So I don't want to put good blades on there. They're just going to get marred up. So we're going to put this blade back on, and this winter we'll change out all the blades. But So when I broke the head off, I my blade fell off. 
I'm supposed to have two of these washers. I lost it. A lock washer, which is here, and a bolt. And I had to order those from Kubota. I got those. Before we do that, let's spray a little blaster in there and just help that rust. Right, let's see if that does the trick. Oh, this way. Maybe this time we can mow without breaking anything. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find out. One of my least favorite jobs is fueling up the Kubota. Oh, it's just usually very messy. <sighs> All right, let's turn the key on and then we can see the fuel gauge we can't see while we're pouring. Oh. I... All right, let's see if we can do this without breaking anything. from Farm Foods and there is an affiliate link listed in the description below. There's also a 10% off um, promo code as well. And I'm going to peel the skin off because Miss Libby's does not like the skin. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. 
time to heal yet still you fight with what you're told and hold on to your scars and wounds and paths of home and I said I should have some mushrooms. I'll have to check the pantry. Maybe for some reason I have some canned ones. Look what I just found in my pantry. They will do. I love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Fresh ones would be better, but hey, I'm not running to the store right now. Oh, that was the wrong one. That's the right one. I'm gonna cook up the peppers and the mushrooms with a couple tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. Yum! This is my experience with mushrooms is you either like them or you don't. Boy, that came quite a ways from what it looked like last year. Look at all that biomass, all this compostable material that will be able to sit on the pasture this year, decompose all winter and just break down and refeed the soil for next year. It's really wet there, there, any of the high spots of grass, except for over here, I haven't mowed yet. Um, they're really wet. We got, what, an inch and three quarters of rain a week ago. So these areas are just withstanding water right now and I can't get in there and mow. Tomorrow we're supposed to get like an inch of rain. So those couple of spots might not get mowed this year. But up there's looking really nice. I'm really happy be interesting to see what this looks like next year. We're going to have to figure out some sort of management. I don't know if we get a brush hog for the tractor, if this tractor is even big enough for that. We put cows out here, we put goats out here, we got to get it fenced in. We just got to figure out how we're going to manage this pasture. That'll be one of the things we think about this winter because this pasture is ready for something now. Just not sure what yet. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Hannah. Gento. Hannah. Oh boy. Yeah. Gento. Yeah. How many eggs? I say 15. 15. No, I say 12. How many? 16. I say 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, ooh, 9, 11, 13, 15. Who guessed 15? Nobody. You guessed 16, I guessed 12, and you guessed 10. Oh, I'm closest. You girls keeping an eye on the crazy dogs. You stay out, Tanner. I gotta try giving the boys a little radio. See if they like listening to some tunes. There's a hook right there made for it. What is that for? I don't know. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, I hung the milking basket on there and I had the milking stand there. Down? 
Okay, boys, enjoy your new tunes. You can't listen to them on YouTube, though. We'll get in trouble. A little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of onion powder on each side. Nothing fancy, but boy, is it delicious. Mmm, look at those delicious pieces of steak. They smell so good. Boy, we always know we are gonna get some good steaks when we get our meat from farmfoodmarkets.com. We've never been let down before, and the best part is it comes from family farms from around the US. They help support the family farms, which just makes me feel good. It's like, hey, I know where I'm purchasing this meat from. I can go on their website. I can see what farm it came from, and I can select what farm I want to buy it from. Uh, I just love technology and aspects like that. But this pasture, guys, last year had me feeling so defeated. I couldn't get it to grow grass. Every time I'd put grass seed down and have it raked out, we'd get a huge torrential downpour and it'd just wash everything out. It's not perfect, but man, there's some good grass out there. It excites me. I can't wait to see what it looks like next year. And our homestead farm has come such a long way in the past six months, eight months. It's just amazing. I'm reading a quote today and I really love it. Be happy with what you have while working for what you want. That is so true. If we're not happy where we are and enjoying and appreciating what we already have, then it just becomes a race to get to the next part. We just need to sit back, relax, take it in. Look at what we're doing, what we're accomplishing, where we were and where we are. We might not be where we want to be, but I can guarantee you that we're a heck of a lot better than we were before. So I know while we're in the trenches fighting or struggling, whatever you're doing, we forget to stop and take a look back to see where we were and where we are now because we always, we always forget. I know I do all the time. So I want to encourage you guys, wherever you're going, whether it's a slow progression right now, you're going to get there. Don't give up hope. We got to hold on to that hope, guys. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.